Hi everyone, this is Anil. Welcome to video on ServiceNow RPA in action. This is part two of the video series. In part one, we have seen how to install RPA on personal web instance. In this video, we will see how to fill a simple uh, inquiry form online. Uh, let's see this in action and then we'll understand uh, what was configured to make it work. So I have opened my RPA desk desktop design studio. I click on run so that I can show the execution of this. So once I click on run, it, it opens up this page and then it will try to uh, start clicking the, the links on the page. Like first it clicks on plots for sale. Then it starts filling out the first name, the last name, email address, uh, and the mobile number, the pin code, all of that. Now there is a slight weight we have added on the email ID because uh, there is a validation on the page that verifies the correctness of email address. So that is that. And then it enters the pin code, the country, uh, which is a selection, and then the unit, which is again a selection, and the budget, uh, okay, which is a selection. Same with the time frame. So and then there's a checkbox called uh, I agree. So once we check the checkbox, then it uh, yeah, uh, that's that. And then it clicks on inquire now, right? So once it clicks on inquire now, it takes us to the next page uh, where there's a thank you message. So we try to read that message and then uh, we want to uh, display a message from RPA, uh, which basically reads the content of the thank you message. So all this is happening as part of the, the setup we have done. Now let's see what is set up in RPA. So if I go here, so this is all that got executed. So as you can see, it is still running. So it basically gives us insight into the run log at each stage. So if you start here, it took like 1.4 uh, seconds here, and then uh, it's telling like what had what action took place here, and so on. Right. So we start off by uh, the the first uh, action is start, right, and then we want to find the window which is this one here. And once we find the window, then it clicks on the image here uh, so that we always start at the home page. And then it does the next steps like uh, the navigation, right? Plots on sale, uh, and then uh, then it will try to fill out the form. Now we have introduced wait uh, wherever we need because uh, the page takes some time to respond. And then, uh, I mean, there are some scenarios where we have to introduce click uh, and then uh, mouse actions. So they're all part of this UI action section here, right? So we have this get text, click, mouse, and so on. And then finally, where we have the uh, thank you uh, page where we are trying to get the text. So here we have this get text action, and uh, that, that's what is doing the work of reading the text on the thank you uh, page. And then it gives that as input to message box. So as you can see here, there are two connectors coming out of this, unlike the other ones. So if you see the other ones have like one connector coming out, uh, but this has two. The first one is uh, for the flow to continue. And the second one is for the, uh, to pass the text which is read by this get text, which uh, comes as input to the message box. So the message box shows that message. And then finally we have the end where it ends, the, ends this uh, flow. So yeah, that's how the setup is done. And again, this requires installing RPA Desktop Design Studio uh, from ServiceNow. Uh, uh, platform. Thank you for watching. This is Anil.